Welcome back to the Melbourne Club here at Brockett Hall. And we are all set, Pete, for the final, down to the final two. And it's an all-English one as well. Matt Nicole against Joe Miller. Who are you liking? Well, I have to say Matt Nicole, a qualifier. He's hit it the furthest so far, an incredible 439 yards. So I'm going to go for him, Sarah. How about you? That means I'm taking the other one, Joe Miller, two-time world champion. I like the experience heading into this one. Although there's a little bit of pressure. He hasn't won since the Worlds at the back end of 2016. We'll see, though. Should, Should be, be a brilliant one. final. Yeah. So it's the All English final, the Battle of Britain. Joe Miller against heir apparent Matt Nicole. Matt would have grown up wanting to be a long drive champion like Joe Miller Lee, and now he has his chance to dethrone the king, so to speak. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, you know, let's get it on, really. Nice little All English affair, though. Come on, he's the master, he's been here, he's done it before. How much do you want to take this one down? I want to take him down. Let's go. <laughs> Are you ready for the young pup, the young challenger? Yeah, you have to put these dung ones in their place sometimes, <laughs> so let's see what happens. <laughs> Matt in to hit first, and there you go, his four inch tee is up. Matt Nicole with the first of his eight shots. Good luck. Yeah, Joe always likes to chase a number, so let's see what number Matt can put down there. We know he's going to hit the grid. I think it's going to take something over 400. Um, he might feel a little bit of pressure. He knows Joe is going to put it down near the end of the grid, so um, he's going to want 410. I would have thought 420 to put a target. Curse of the commentator there. The first one's gone off the grid. <laughs> oh, for sure. He's quite seasoned, Matt. He'd be happy if the first two or three go. He's got such a good swing. You can bet your dollar on it. He will put something in this grid. OK, so that one's gone out on the right. You know, oh, look at that. That always happens, doesn't it? You overcompensate and it goes out on the left. Uh, there, there's a golfer's day to day. <laughs> this one right, this one left, nothing changes. Now, you know, what? this one's surely going to go down the middle now, but he's technically a very sound golfer, isn't he, Matt? This boy's, a, this boy's a good player, he's a professional. I think contrary to a lot of people, as they see it, they don't see long drivers as good players. Many of them are professionals, very low amateurs. This boy's a seriously good player. So he's just hit three in a row out of the grid. Do you think maybe he's suffering a little bit of final nerves, a little bit of tension in those shoulders? Um, I think he's going to feel a bit of pressure once you get to ball four, five, six. He'll get one in. I mean, he will be getting to that point now where there's added pressure because he knows he won't want to give the set to Joe. Oh, that, that, that's right. He'll want to put a number up here and as the balls go on, he'll feel it a little bit more. He has hit the longest uh, drive of the day so far, but doing it in the final is what matters. This one looks like it's down the middle of the grid. Yeah, club, at, club at speed's good. Ball speed's a little bit low, so he needs a bit of groundwork there. That might not be his biggest number of the day. Just feeling good to get one on the grid, however. That one looks like it's also going to go out on the right. Uh, what is the tendency if that's happening for a long driver? Well, uh, it would be a little bit like your normal player, you know. They'll, they'll know their swing flaws, they'll know what shots they hit. This is definitely in. And um, what they'll, uh, they'll do is they'll have their fix to try and sort this. Here goes the ball on the ground. Let's see what that's going to throw up. 3 8 4. So a good hit there. So he's getting closer, but we suspect there's not been a number posted that Joe Miller shouldn't take if he hits it half decently. I think you just saw it in Matt's face there as he came off that stage. He's not happy with that number he's put up. That's not much of a total for Joe to chase, but he's got to hit the grid. So what we're noticing now, Ali, is that the temperature's dropping. The ball shouldn't go as far, should it? No, you're going to lose a little bit. Uh, temperature's dropped as it's got into the evening here. You can see the light going as well a little bit. So he's going to lose a little bit. Uh, not a huge amount. It's just going to take a little bit of distance off the ball. Little loosener there for Joe hitting it left of the grid. Uh, quite sharp left as well. Just composing himself now to hit his second shot in this final. Yeah, you said about swing floors. If Joe misses one, he tends to miss it left. Uh, this has not missed. One wow. five And one five one two thirteen. This is a serious number. See Joe's feet coming off the floor as he hits the ball, just using the ground here as he moves up. This is massive. Wow. Wow, great atmosphere here at the yeah, Melbourne Club at Brockett Hall. Great final so far. Matt Nicole and Joe Miller. And as you can hear, 436 yards. That's just put Joe Miller into the lead and in a strong position to win this competition. Look at that club head speed there. 157 miles an hour. Now, let's just say on tour, the average 
club bid speeds 115, 120? 113. I, I've been around Long Drive many, many years. I've never seen a number like that. That is outrageous. We're going to have to get someone in the office to check out the stats. And that I'm hearing that's the fastest club bid speed ever in a final. Well, uh, unless there's a record I'm not aware of, that's the world record club at speed. I've never seen a number like that. Incredible. And it's an incredible number, but to do it in a final league, this is why he's a former champion. So as it stands, Lee, Joe Miller is the champion, unless Matt Nicole can do something that he's not done, well, at least for the last eight shots. Here we go. This is the power ball. Matt Nicole, he hit 4-3-9 in the quarterfinals. He's got to hit 4-3-6 or over. Can he hit a big one again? We'll wait and see. It looks like a decent strike. We'll wait for the number. This would be a sensational end to the competition if Matt Nicole could do it with the Powerball. Incredible. 406 yards for Matt Nicole. Not enough to topple Joe Miller's longest drive of the day. That incredible hit that he put out. Joe Miller's our champion. Yeah, uh, when it comes to the crunch, um, he's found the goods again, as he has done over the years. Tough ask of Matt, he performed fantastic. He'd be very happy getting into the final. But Joe Miller was the best man on the night. 436 yards, Joe Miller, take a bow. Joe Miller, many, many congratulations. How sweet to pull off a victory at your home club in front of your friends and family. Yeah, nothing, um, nothing beats that. Uh, you know, it's been... Oh, I haven't won since 2016 when I last won the World Championship, so I've actually forgot what it feels to win, so, um, or what it feels like. But uh, that was a nice one. Matt hit great all day. All the guys hit. Yeah, there were some massive drives out there, obviously. Uh, but, you know, I had a nice little bit of home support and come through in the end. The very valiant runner-up tonight, Matt Nicole. Matt, you came so close all the way to the final and just losing out to Joe Miller. How do you feel you performed? Um, it was really good, you know, uh, watching Joe all evening, he's been progressively getting a little bit quicker, a little bit more solid, so I knew I was going to be up for a very difficult challenge in the final, but, you know, I'm happy with the way I hit it, I got the longest ball of the night, um, I was pretty consistently over 400 yards in most of my sets, so, you know, I'll take a lot of positives away from it.